Hi, this is Resilient Ken Lau. Now in this video, I will share with you how to combine three worksheet together. Now how to combine three worksheet together? There are many ways. One of the way is that if you find yourself doing something like that, you copy it uh, very go to the very end and you know copy it and go to a new worksheet paste it then go to the next one and you do again copy go here and then you paste it the very end um, I'm sorry here okay and then this one you do one you just paste you just delete it and nothing wrong but what if you want to add another item here for any reason right? you added you enter another reason another value here and this is on the 2019 okay and it's already the same but now you need to come back here and look at the item and somewhere here that you need to right click insert another row right so that would be very time consuming and you need to locate the right one human error tends to happen so how can you do this faster it's not just copy and paste but also handling the dynamic change okay and that's why Excel come up with the new tools called Power Query let's see what it means now in order to do that you need to first convert each worksheet into a Excel table to do that select one of the cell press ctrl T and that will give you some data here let's see does it apply to the rare rest nope it doesn't go to 208 you can see that it's at 105 why is that so because um, we do have some empty rows here so um, maybe we'll try this again no, see, it doesn't work that way. Ctrl T. Nope. So in this case, if you have any cell, which shouldn't be, then uh, you need to highlight it manually, highlight until the end. And then Ctrl T. Click OK. Give a name. This name is called VIOX. Do the same for box. So over here, uh, all the way to the top, to T. So over here, then then type box. And the last one. So you only do this one time. Uh, do it carefully. Okay, over here, go to T. Iron. Next, we go to the data tab from table range. Sorry, not the steps. Let's discard it. Let's go to the data tab, get data from other source, blank query. Then we enter a M language called we want to examine what is the current rope book contains and enter Ooh, that is very strange excel dot current book book true what current book, book? Okay, so after you type Excel dot book, you press enter, you should get this list here. So what it tells you is that for every this row, there's an inner table. The inner table represents the entire table in that worksheet. Yeah. So uh, same goes to here. This is the data for the entire worksheet or box. 
and so on. Now, the each of the which which of this data this table has the exact number of columns and the same name. Now the next thing is that we're going to uh, let me show you one. Okay, oh, yeah, let's just remove this here. Yeah. Now, and I want to combine all this table. I just click on this. Uncheck this. Click OK. And that's it. The only problem is that we do not know which are the data for which uh, type. Now we have three products. One is wheels, the other a box, and the other ion. But we don't know which which row are belongs to them, which data set are belongs to wheels, which row. So how do you solve this? Now let's go back to this, the earlier step source here. Okay, this is a source. Now we don't want to remove that column. Instead, we want to replace this. So we add a step. Replace the value, insert a step. And what we do is that replace the table with nothing, click OK. So we have the wheels here and this remove column is not required, just cross it. Okay, so now we're going to expand it, right? But uh, let's see if I just do that, what will happen? Look at that. There's one more column right here. So these are the rows for wheels and as we go, you see that there's a box here and that is how we combine the tree. Now, also, if you notice here, there are empty rows. So how do you remove these empty rows? Go on those days that you delete one by one, or even use the go to special method. You can just click here and click on this to remove it very fast. As done. Now we can just close the load. And it's done. It's really done. And that is how I combine the three worksheet together. And now, if I have a new data, this is over here. Uh, this is over here, yeah. So I'll put one more here. Let's just put it as Apple. In capital letter. And let's say it's just 2020. So everything will remain the same and now what I need just come here right click let's look at the wheels so the very end of the wheels part will be here you see 276 okay let's just highlight that I just right click and refresh So let's see. I didn't do any research. Oh, that's query. Oh, yeah. Oh, so now we have a query. Now I know why there's a query. Because after we do that, it says, uh, but let's just look at the box, the wheels. Let's say wheels. So the wheels, and true enough, we have that. The only thing is that because. Uh, with that with because now we refresh we have a new table it's called query so we need to go back here and do some modification we go to the source previously when we first started there's no query and that's why we can do that now we have a query so how do we remove that we don't want to include the query that's the data set so to do that we go to the text query uh, we check whether it is the it does contains the word query. So insert another step. What a filter that out. If it contain the word query, then uh, we don't want that to wait. Uh, double click this. Uh, does not contain. It should be does not contain. Click OK. So we have all this and uh, come back to filter and. Uh, which have the wheels. Close the load. Alright, that's where we got it done correctly. 
Okay, I hope that this explained to you how to consolidate three worksheets or twenty worksheets very very fast. And now you just need to con uh, concentrate on adding the additional information at the very end of each product. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless Asia.